Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize and improve your FPS in Showdown 1986 dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out so stick around till the end and with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential Windows settings and for that head over to settings on your PC and then go over to gaming, game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar turned off will give you better FPS because it consumes a lot of processing and memory in the background. Disabling so will help you gain extra FPS. Head back to gaming, open up game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will give you better FPS as I have counted this multiple times and game mode turned on has always given me better FPS. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Simply open this thing up and then head over to change default graphic settings. Enable both hardware extracted GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for Windows games as you clear the your GPU and reduce your input latency. Head back to graphics and then go over to the browse button right over here and go to the directory of your installed game. To find that, simply right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files and you will be right in the folder. Simply copy the path from here and then click on browse button and then paste the path right over here head over to bin win64 and you'll find huntgame.exe click on add and then head over to options select high performance and then click on save once that is done simply close your settings step number two is deanimating your windows and this is super simple search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows right over here select custom and then click on save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. This will ensure the basic minimal look of your windows and disable all unnecessary animations aside from this that consumes the RAM and CPU usage unnecessarily. Right after that, head over to the advanced section and then click on virtual memory, click on change, deselect automatically manage paging file size and set your initial size to 1361. This is right above 1 GB of basic memory and then for the maximum size, you have to search for system information on your PC. Look for your total install physical memory that is 32 GB for me. Open up calculator really quickly and then multiply 32 with 1024 and you'll get the memory size in megabytes. Divide this value by 2 and the value that you get over here is what you have to paste in the maximum size. Click on set and click on ok and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory. Next step is disabling unwanted startup applications and for that press ctrl shift and escape all together and you'll open task manager just like this. Head over to startup apps and then you'll find a lot of applications right over here. You have to start right clicking on some of these applications and then click on disable so they do not start with the boot of your pc this will make sure that less number of applications running in the background and you only want to open this application if you really want to use them otherwise all of the services from that application will be turned off next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search or create a restore point on your pc click on local disk c and then click on create Name it Hunt so you can remember it and I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of the settings back to normal without any data loss. Once it is done, simply click on close and close these properties. Next step is the Hunt Showdown FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply download there or you can join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. In here, you'll find in five simple folders. The first one is a CPU priority in which you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. If you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click in the AMD CPU priority and it will set your CPU registry to the optimal state. Once again, if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. Head over to the second folder, which is the Hunt Showdown priority. And over here, you'll find high priority and above normal priority. Leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this list. Open up the third folder which is the RAM optimization and I have 32GB RAM over here so I need to run this registry. It could be different for you so you can double click and run according to your PC and if you don't like it I have also left a reset to default registry right over here. Fourth one is the programs folder in which I have left cache cleaner you can right click on this as administrator and it will start deleting all of your unwanted cache files from your PC. Don't worry this is completely safe and all of these files are just trash dumps which you do not use or you do not need. It will automatically clean all of them and make sure that you have enough headroom to make more whenever you open up your game. This will ensure smoother performance and better FPS in many cases. Once that is done, it will automatically close. Next is MSI Mode Utility 3.0. Simply right click on this as administrator. Once you are here, you have to locate your GPU and then click on the MSI button right in front of it and the interrupt priority set it to high from undefined and then click on apply. This will make sure to set your GPU affinity to a higher state which will be utilized in the game and help you to gain extra FPS. 
Once that is done, simply close it and you have to go back and last one is the unwanted services. You will find a lot of services right over here. You can start double clicking and disabling all of them except the Bluetooth service if you use any Bluetooth device. You have to run all of these registries and this will make sure that all of the unwanted services are shut down in the background. Once again, if you want to enable any of these, you can always revert them back to normal right from this folder. Next step is boot configuration and for that, search for MS config right over here and then go over to the boot settings. Click on advanced option, click on number processor and choose the maximum number of processors available for your PC. After that, head over to the services section and then select Hydro Microsoft services and disable all updater service, RGB service, fan control service and other services that you do not really use such as the Adobe Acrobat, Brave update service, Chrome update service, printer service, MySQL and so much more right over here. You do not use it, you can simply shut them down. Make sure to know what you're doing because it can sometimes lead to fatal crashes. Next step is disabling sysmain and for that search for services.msc right on your PC and once you're here you have to search S and look for sysmain right over here. If that is running on your PC, right click on it and then click on stop. Make sure that this service do not run because it consumes a lot of CPU usage which is completely unnecessary and you can simply disable it and make sure that the system runs really amazing. Head over to the properties section right over here and the startup type set this thing to disabled over here and then click on apply. This setting itself can help you gain up to 7% FPS boost in the best cases. Once you're done with everything, head over to your game and follow the in-game settings. Okay, so once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to settings right over here and then select graphics. Once you are here, set the resolution to your native monitor resolution. Window mode should always be set to full screen. Preferred main monitor should be 1. VSync should be turned off. Max frame rate should be set to more than 9000. Near depth of field and motion blur should be turned off. Gamma should be set to 1.0. It is a personal preference. If you want, you can raise it or reduce it. HDR should be a personal preference as well. VRAM usage target. This is the game changer right over here if you have a super low-end pc set it to 70 and if you have a medium end or high-end computer you can set it to 80 or 90 to gain extra fps the bar right beneath that will tell you how much vram you're using right now for super resolution i highly recommend you guys to use nvidia dlss or amd fsr at balanced mode or if you have a super low-end pc you can also go to performance mode right over here now let's head over to the graphics quality object quality should be set to medium texture quality medium texture filtering 2x lighting quality medium global illumination low shadow quality medium shadow filtering medium effects quality medium post processing quality low particle quality low water quality low fog quality low view distance ratio high view distance lights medium view distance vegetation low performance stats should be warning icons only gpu tessellation should be turned off and that is it press f to apply all of the settings and you can now enjoy a hunt showdown with the maximum fps possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button as it really helps me out with the channel also if you're not a part of channel membership yet you can always get a channel membership to show some support towards the channel as it really encourages me to make more awesome guides like this we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out